Awesome. Thanks so much. The Division of Air Quality is considering a proposal to build a mine in Parley's Canyon. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us dozens of residents and activists who rallied against the proposed mine today. Stop the mine. Stop the mine. Stop the mine. This is just one front in the battle to try to stop this gravel pit. Scott Williams is one of the nearly 27,000 Utah residents who signed a petition in opposition to Granite Construction's proposal to build a mine in Parley's Canyon. I've lived here most of my life and there's I just love this place and I love that because we are so lucky to have the natural um, assets that we have, the mountains, the desert. And I think a lot of people feel that way. And I think when people see other people getting involved, um, then they want to get involved. Environmentalists say the canyon winds would carry constant dust down into the Salt Lake Valley if a mine was built. If Utah state government cannot protect even our most important natural assets, if public health protection exists only at the mercy of industrial lobbyists, then we will have become the poster child of a failed government. The proposed mine would be built off the ranch exit on I-80. Environmentalists say this is the worst possible place to put a mine. Utah is literally full of limestone. As Lake Bonneville receded, it left limestone all over northern Utah. So there's lots of places we can get it, and there's never been a process to say, where's the place that we can get it that has the least impact on wildlife, the least impact on people, the least impact on the air quality. I reached out to Granite Construction. In response to the rally, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer Aaron Kuhlman sent me a statement writing in part, quote, Granite is sensitive to our neighbors' concerns, and Granite intends to adhere to strict environmental controls on the site. Utah has been the fastest growing state in the nation over the last decade and requires significant aggregate resources to meet the needs of the fast growing Salt Lake area. And during this permitting process, significant misinformation about the impacts of the development and operation of the quarry have been disseminated. The truth is that this site will provide the people of Salt Lake City with a safe, clean and responsible quarry operation. In Salt Lake County, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.